there's only really a couple of sounds, especially with the hip-hop thing, as someone said, how many words can you get to rhyme with bitch? Be ba 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 ba, you know, you get your Pearl and Dean, that's fine. Come to Jakubowski Joinery, <laughs> two minutes from the cinema. All that stuff. And now it's just, uh, it's half an hour. And um, the, the, just the will to live drains out. Coked up um, sort of vision mixers and directors think, I know, what we'll do, we've got a shot there. Uh, but instead of shot, we'll have 42 shots and a crane shot. Tap water in London is absolutely fine. But if you're in a restaurant, you say, could I just have a glass of tap water? They look at you as if you've crawled out of the sewer. And so now you get um, theorem energy. Um, electricity, gas, water, heating, underground nuclear caverns, um, bed making service, dog walking. Choose us. Just confusing. We only get uh, one post, uh, and um, but but at least you know when it's going to arrive, uh, and that is any time between seven thirty in the morning and ten at night. Sure, I remember a time when first class meant next day delivery, and I think first class post nowadays means there's more than 50% chance that it might be delivered. That's what first class post means. I do find myself shouting at the television and it's, it's, it's a small step from there to be, to be, to being in a wicker chair with a blanket staring out to sea with people saying, are you dry? You know, I think it's a two way thing. In a car you say, please cross, and all you have to say, thanks very much. All you want to do is just close your eyes or read a book. You're stuck in a tunnel for half an hour, no announcement, and yet you've got two people sitting next to you who are shouting at each other. It's, it's the female broadcasters who aren't meteorologists, who invest uh, every uh, sentence with a phonetic and a cadence which is utterly at odds with the sense of what they're saying. Here is the action. So, a bit breezy tomorrow. Something to watch. But coming right down from the south, there's... Move southwards. A wind, but it won't be uh, too much in the... These winds coming down, but it's a chill factor. We're above average for the time of year. It's not going to be very much so. Wrap up warm. Tender plants, perhaps get them in. And do you just think, what is this? Is this kind of a lingua phone course for people who've got brain damage? And then for the weekend, well, it looks like we've got some colder weather on the way. Bye for now. Got a clue. Bluetooth at 10 metres? I don't know. Sounds like something of Anne Summers. Can you operate your Bluetooth at 10 metres? It's a clever trick if you can. Breaks the ice at party. Close the door and light the light. Smithfields, how are you spelling the first part? Z Q I R T. Z Q I. No! Smith, Smith, yes. yes. And the second part, field. F E E E E E E E E E E E E And so all the time you're going through this, you know, the money is wrecking up. And you can just went, waste half an hour. Do have DVDs, but um, you know, after after a night um, uh, relaxing with friends and things like that, you always find your favourite ones have got um, jam on them <laughs> in the morning. It's the way my parents spoke. It's the way my godmother spoke. It's the way it's the way those who were around me when I was a child spoke. So that. I remember writing with this it's kind of Donald Sindon crossed with uh, Edith Evans, strange kind of bastard love child. And he was talking about Gilbert and George once, and I didn't know what he was saying, and he kept using the same word, and he was going, 
Ja bym sobie z chyba Dougal Jones. Z, 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 what, what they do? The stained glass windows. These are osseos. There's so many osseos. All of the business is osseos. And I kept rewinding. So what is he doing? He's talking about arseholes. Osseos. Osseos. He's talking about Dougal Jones. Osseos. It's super osseos. And it was, it, was, it was like some kind of thing you have to decrypt. Bollocks. Ear hair. That's the thing that that, that that is one thing that does make me grumpy. I mean, what's it? Well, it's like hair around the anus. What's it for? Nostril hair, obviously, if you're inhaling anthracite and things like that, or any other kind of bacterium, it helps. But what's the point of hair coming out of your ear? <laughs> like that, and uh, suddenly you've had a prefrontal lobotomy. <laughs> like that. Um, but, uh, but the next day, it's there. It's there. It's like some kind of pot plant behind Fern Britton and Philip Schofield. And uh, that's what happened. It's a huge kind of uh, verdant, leafy outgrowth. What's it for? I don't know. I find when I'm drinking, I drink and then the sort of it kind of dribbles out. So it's like going, going back to um, uh, an infantile state, really.